Alright guys, it's time for me to review my horror action figures and show you this big box of horror figures and go through it. So let's do this. Alright guys, so the first thing we're grabbing out of the box is... Ooh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I haven't played with these in a long time. I'm definitely going to do a photo shoot with these. This is the Golden Freddy. Uh, yeah, his microphone is there. These just pop apart, by the way. It's very weird figures. But yeah, I remembered getting the original series of these and I've never got any more. I could be tempted to grab some new ones off of Amazon to uh, do on this specialised channel. So yeah, I definitely might do that. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more of uh, some Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. Speaking of Freddy's, we do also have Bonnie... Um, clap, is it clap trap or snap trap or something, something trap? The mechanical one, the one that's broken from the first game. We've got Foxy. And Chica. If you'd like to see me do the full, oh there's Freddy as well, Ugh. and there's Five Nights at Freddy's Freddy. So if you'd like to see me do Wave 1 again and do all of the set again on like an overview review, review the review, I could definitely do that, you know? Likewise, on the second channel, which we have renamed as Crypt Toys, as it's going to specialise in horror action figures, video games, and horror stuff. So we're going to specialise over there on that, and that's Crypt Toys for the secondary channel, where we will be re-reviewing all of these figures. Um, so if you want to see these get re-reviewed um, in the modern day, then definitely, definitely check out the new channel, Crypt Reviews. Anyway, sorry, Cryptoids. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's keep moving on with this one. So we've got the zombie taxi driver from Ghostbusters. This is a Diamond Select figure. Very nice. <coughs> <coughs> the head does keep popping off this one, though. It's really annoying. Uh, but yeah, it's a decent figure. I got these from B&M when they came out here in the UK. Ooh, who is that? I can see loitering in the background. Oh, it's Chucky, and he's in his little box. This was the ultimate Chucky uh, from Chucky... I want to say Chucky... Was it Chucky 2? Child's Play Chucky? I can't remember. Her, but yeah, it was the one that came with the fancy box. So I put the child light head on him and stuck him in the box. I have another one down here, as you can see, uh, from the two-pack. We'll get to that in a bit. So yeah, I put the child light head on there to give it the good guy's vibe, and then I put him in the box. Ooh, another Diamond Select figure. Bit of an oldie but goodie. It's Count Dracula. Ah, ah, he can't get on camera. He's too big. There he goes. <laughs> so it's Count Dracula from Marvel's Diamond Select. Oh, well, Diamond Select. I'm not sure if it was a Marvel one, but it was Diamond Select. Looks very much like the old Dracula from Marvel Comics, though, which is what made me say it. Uh, but yeah, I never got around to reviewing that. I do have his wolf and everything. So I could be very tempted to give that the full review treatment, guys. If you want to see it, please let us know. And again, that'll be over on Crypt Toys. Dracula out of the way. Ah, ah. So we also have Sam as well. This is the Trick or Treat Sam. This was the cloth version from NECA. We do have the other variant as well, which is in that box, but this figure is awesome. I love him so much. Then we have a multitude. <laughs> a multitude of different <laughs> versions of Pennywise. We have this one. We have uh, this one. <laughs> we have uh, a Diz one <laughs> with the hole in the head so you can put the spike through. I'm pretty sure we've got one more in there. There he is. That's the last one with the new humanoid head on there from the it Chapter 2 movie. My favourite of the bunch, personally. Leatherface? What's leather? What's, what are you doing without your apron? You need to wear your apron. Ah, ah, I don't know why I'm still doing Dracula's voice. Let me go ahead and... Let me go ahead and pop off the head just so I can get the apron on a little bit faster there. Pop the head back on. We'll tie it as well. And there we have our leather face as well. Probably my favourite of the leather faces. Um, I definitely need to re-watch Te Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 as I haven't actually watched it yet. I got it on Blu-ray a little while ago and I've never sat down and watched it so I could be tempted to give it the uh, do a watch party which is where I watch the movie and react to it live on stream and have a chat with you guys about, about it. But um, obviously you need your own copy of the movie to be able to watch it. If you want to see me do that on camera, please let us know. We can do some horror streams. 
Right, that's Leatherface. Uh, then we also have, which is also very cool, this is, uh, what was it, Mez, were these, Me no, not Mezco, these were, were they Mc I can't remember now whether they were McFarlane or what, but these were basically like um, horror figures that came out a long time ago. This one's based upon Frankenstein, the Addy's, um, Addy's like laboratory, or is that Igor? I can't remember who it was now. No, it was Frankenstein, sure it was. And it came with like his little laboratory and stuff. It was a very cool little set, but I loved it for the figure. It reminds me of like a Quasimodo sort of type. Um, I've not found a Dracula that can be taller than him, but I would like to have him as like an Igor character. <laughs> master. Coming master. Either way, very cool figure. Oh yes, possibly one of my favourites. We have Tiffany. And can't have Tiffany without... Chucky. Love these two figures. These are the bride of Chucky figures. Uh, she also comes with the other head to make her into the doll. What I'd really like as well, I know nobody's going to sell me just her, but I would love to buy another another pack of the two pack uh, just so I can get another Tiffany body and I would take the jacket off, the arms off and put the white arms on and have her as the doll. Then I've got the, the Chucky doll and the Tiffany doll prior to their possessions. So that would be pretty cool. Plus, I just love Tiffany. She's so cool, right? Probably the best horror female character of all time. Love that film as well. My favourite. Um, I need to go back in my collection and find the last of the figures for these. Uh, but these are the um, Halloween 3 season of The Witch. I'm missing the witch girl. But I've got the two guy characters which were the pumpkin and of course the skeleton. Uh, there is the witch as well that goes with them. I need to go back and re-find her. I don't know where she's gone. Uh, she'll be in one of the big boxes. Yeah, I've been sorting out my collect my collections into little boxes recently because I've got too many. But yes, very cool. I really like these two, and I really like when she's with them as well. It's a very cool little set. They were very cool. Plus, you've got all the other heads as well that have like come to live and stuff. They're very cool. Then we've got a couple of Freddies in here as well. We've got the this is the anniversary Freddy from um, NECA. You've got the face that he, you know, the skin face that he puts on, and it's got the telephone with the tongue sticking out. So very cool figure. Then we've got the other version as well. This was the one that came with Dream Warriors. He's lost his actual glove compartment part on this one. Uh, but neither way, I've got plenty of Freddy gloves to put on him. Uh, this guy also had the one with the cross in the head that you could shine a light through and make it look like he was uh, being... Uh, what's it? Uh, thingy. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Either way, very cool figure. There's another Freddy in there as well because his jacket's in there from the new Nightmare. So that one's kicking about somewhere in there. Um, who am I grabbing next? I am grabbing the nun. Oh, yes. This is another NECA figure. This was one of the clothed NECA figures. Probably one of my favourites as well. It is the NECA nun. She's a very cool character. Obviously, Valak. Or Velik, not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, based on the demon uh, from the Conjuring series. And uh, Obviously, there's the nun standalone movie as a part of the Conjuring series. Very cool. The nun film was okay, actually. I didn't mind it. A lot of people hated on it. I actually just like all the Conjuring movies, to be honest. That Annabelle and everything. So, yeah, she's very cool as well. Um, <clears throat> then we've got the Jason figure from the uh, sort of retro series by Funko, which is called Savage World. Very cool retro style figures. I've got a Freddy in there as well somewhere. <clears throat> then we've got the Crypt Keeper. Loved the Crypt Keeper. I was a little bit disappointed with him. Um, I didn't think they did a good a job as they could have done. Uh, for the Crypt, the Crypt Keeper, but still a very nice figure. And I'll definitely give it a re-review uh, on the new channel, so stick around for that. <clears throat> then we've got the Tim Curry versions of Pennywise. Well, his head's come off on that one. Whoop. But yeah, there's the uh, Tim Curry Pennywise, and I've got the other one here as well, because they released two versions of him. Very cool figures indeed. I really liked them. They were really awesome. You can't beat Tim Curry's it. Oh my god, I've just found another, another Pennywise. <laughs> How many? I did that. I think I'm literally just missing the black and white variant from Comic Con now. I think I have all the variants of Pennywise so far. <laughs> That's very cool though, it's very different. Uh, keeping moving in this box, we've also got Sam from Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat, probably one of my favourite Halloween movies of all time. It's the one that I do dig out each and every single year. I really do enjoy watching it. It's a great movie. <clears throat> oh, then we've got the clothed version of Freddy. This is the one that we were looking at. Oh, yeah, mine's got, the <laughs> mine's got a bit of a broken hand. But nonetheless, it still uh, clicks on and it's just fine. But yes, very cool Freddy figure. Um, his hat's in my drawer, so I don't lose it. 
And the claw in this one is very cool, very demonic. Oh, come to Freddy. Can't beat Freddy Krueger. And I've got a Jason figure here as well. Jason without his mask. Oh, there's his mask. Is that for this one? I think that's this one. But either way, there's Jason. This one, Jason 3D. A very cool figure. I really did enjoy uh, reviewing those. And this one's guy is so floppy at this point because I've used him so much in displays and things. Oh no, I think that I think that um, mask actually came off the uh, Freddy vs. Jason variant. Uh, so I've got that one as well. This one's my favourite one. I love the unmasked head on that one as well, though. It's very different, very cool. You can get away with using him as a non-Jason, as I think, on this one. Just using him as a, just a horror, just a horror character. I think it looks very cool. <clears throat> oh, there's the Freddy that goes with the Savage World. Time for Freddy. Then we have Necker's Michael Myers. From the new uh, Halloween movie from the other year. Can't wait to see part two of that series. It's going to be awesome. And I think I've got Laurie Stroud in here somewhere as well. She's hiding in here somewhere. Oh, the clothed version of Scream as well. I've got the new version. Of, I've got the new Scream Ultimate Edition coming soon as well. That should be with us in a couple of days. But yeah, that, the cloth one is very cool. I love the cloth outfit. It definitely needs to be cloth for this one for me. But I can't wait to get the other one and just compare it. I think the new, the sec, the ultimate one comes with the green mask as well, so you can have it as the stab, stab character from the from the movie within the movie. Another Jason. I'm not quite sure which variant that is or whether that is that the 3D one. I can't remember. I've, I know I've got I've got the Jason 3D one, the Friday the Friday 13th Part 3 Part 3D. Uh, I'm not sure which 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 one this is though. I can't remember. But either way, very cool. Love Jasons. Um. Oh yeah, there, there's Larry Stroud. Larry Stroud as well from the new Michael Myers, from the new Halloween movie. Probably my favourite horror character of all time from House of a Thousand Corpses. It's Captain Spaulding. Don't you like clowns? Don't you think we're funny? <laughs> Can't beat a little bit of Captain Spaulding. He's so cool, and this figure is immense. I love it. <clears throat> Very cool indeed. Who else we got in this box? Uh, I've realised I can zoom my camera out. I'm such a fool. Oop. Oh yes, we got the two little rabbits. Follow the white rabbit from uh, the Alice in Wonderland series. Uh, these were, I think, either Mezco or McFarlane's, I think. And they were based on the fairy tale sort of characters. Very cool figures. Remember, you got like a little Alice with them and stuff. Oh, you could... No, no, no. So you got Alice separately. These came with the tree and the little hanging skeleton. Either way, still cool. I love them. I've included them in my, in my horror bundle just because they're not, they're not, they don't fit anywhere else. But yeah, they're kind of going my horror collection anyway. Um, who else we got? Who else we got, boys? Let's keep digging. Oh yes, then we've got some more uh, Diamond Select. We have Abraham Van Helsing uh, from the Universal Monster series. And you can't have him without having Mina Harker with him as well. So I got the Mina Harker version. If you remember, I got one off somebody on one of the groups in here in the UK on Facebook. And then I picked up the other one on Amazon pretty cheap, if I remember rightly. So like for the whole collection, I think it cost me like 25 quid. So I was happy with that because I got both sets. And it comes with obviously all the display pieces that I have. I did the review with both of them. So if, um, I'll probably redo the review. But if you go back and check it out on my channel, you'll see the, the these two on there as well. Um, again, the hat for this character is in my drawer, so I don't lose it, but here is the Crooked Man. There was a Crooked Man, who had a Crooked Mile, who had a Crooked, crooked Smile. Can't wait for that version uh, to come out from The Conjurer as well. His glasses and everything are all in my uh, little bits of box, so I don't lose them. And again, he looks a lot like um, the villain from Buffy like that, doesn't he? The, um, what are called... Sat the ones that couldn't that made you stop you couldn't scream and that when you were around them I forgot the name of them and then to finish off this box guys I think it's only right we've got McFarlane's Stranger Things figures the four pack dressed up as the Ghostbusters I include them in my horror collection just because they're from Stranger Things which is kind of a horror 
But either way, very cool. And as well, still to be reviewed, guys, down here, we have our Tully from Ghostbusters with the other Terror Dog. Still waiting to review him. And on my shelf up there, you can see in my collection, we've also got Annabelle from NECA and the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. At some point as well, I will give her a little re-review as well. If I can, there she is. Uh, the little doll there, she's from uh, Disney World and she was based upon the Haunted Mansion. They don't make them anymore, they're called attra Attraction Easter Dolls. They don't make them anymore, so she's pretty hard to come by. But yes, I am a big horror fan, guys, as you can see. And I hope you enjoyed going through this box of toys with me. If you want to see more, of, more videos like this where we just go through a big box of toys, then let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.